Hi, everybody. Hello. Welcome to my live. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Laura Roderick. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in San Antonio, Texas. I go live every Tuesday around 7 p.m. to um, show you some really fun projects, um, all made with Stampin' Up! products. Um, I, I'm glad you joined me. Um, we're going to have some fun. If you're watching this later on YouTube, please say hello also. Um, give me a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind. Um, and then I also post this to my Facebook business page once I'm done with this video. So we're going to have some fun tonight. I have a really fun class I'm excited to show y'all. And we'll get started in just a couple minutes. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything new this week. Not really. Gorgeous weekend. I'm tired already and it's Tuesday, so... But that's okay. Um, there's, okay, there is some big news. Hey, Lois. There's some big news with Stamping Up for tomorrow. And that is it's free shipping day. So on orders of $75 or more. So that's super exciting because that will save you some money, especially if you're shopping for things that are on the clearance rack, which is really awesome. So that's a really great deal. Now Stampin' Up is a little bit slow to ship right now. Um, I think I placed an order on the 9th and it hasn't been shipped yet. Um, so, um, but they're doing their best. I, I think what I heard was that they did more sales um, on the 4th than they did the whole month of March. So they just were totally overwhelmed. I think I've heard they're canceling meetings, sending everybody down in shifts to help with the packing. Hi, Renee. So they are trying really hard to get things shipped out. So everyone's orders are coming. Um, but tomorrow would be a great day. It's one day only. It's for order $75 or more, and it's free shipping. So that's a really good deal. I wasn't really planning to order anything more this month. I've, I think I've gotten three orders this month already, and two of them I expedited the shipping. Um, so I was able to get them right away. But now I'm thinking, oh, what else do I need? <laughs> Especially, I'm probably going to double check the clearance rack again. Um, because some of those deals are really good, like on um, the things that you're going to use, like the rhinestones and things like that, the ribbon. Um, so just be aware of that tomorrow would be a great time to order. Um, so every week I do a share contest. Um, this past week, um, if you shared my video, I entered you in and the winner, um, was winning this beautiful gold and silver ribbon. Um, it's the trim combo pack and the winner for last week's share was Renee. Um, Renee, I never know how to say your last name. Is it Paris? Parise? Anyway, congratulations. Thank you for sharing, and thank you to everybody who shared my video. I really appreciate it. What I'm going to give away this week, these are adhesive-backed solid gems, and these are brand new. These are out of the new catalog that's coming out in two weeks, so I have a package to give away. All you have to do is share my video, and then put in the comments that you shared. You can share it on, um, you can share it on Facebook, either way, and... Um, Oh, okay. Renee says it's the first way that I said her name. Okay. Thank you for clearing that up because I hate to mispronounce people's names. Um, you can also share on YouTube. Okay. Just, uh, again, say shared in the comments so I know to enter you in the contest. These are really fun. Um, these are some of the new colors. I, I wanted to look it up um, in the catalog, um, but I didn't really have time to see what colors are in this. It's adhesive back solid gems. Okay. So that's for next week. All right. I think we'll get started. Let me turn down the camera and we'll start making some cards. We're going to be working out of the mini catalog tonight. And um, as y'all know, oh, that's quite the glare. I'm, I'm going to, um, this catalog is going to expire the last day of April. Um, so that will be done. The new catalog comes out May 2nd. So I can't wait to order. You know, as a demonstrator, um, they let you pre-order just certain things out of the catalog. So I've pre-ordered some fun things. I've already started working on a class uh, from the new catalog. So I'm excited. Um, but this is a good time to get any last chance items you want. To. This was a great catalog, this mini catalog. I really enjoyed it. Tonight we're going to be working with the Petal Park Bundle. And that would be um, this stamp set with this punch. I love the punches because they're so easy to use. We're going to be using... Um, and some of this paper, the Regency Park Designer Series paper. Now, this Petal Park bundle, that is um, crossing over into the annual catalog, the new catalog, so that's going to um, stay with us. This paper is retiring, but last time I looked, they still had some of this um, for sale um, in the retiring products. 
Here's some of the um, samples that they made in the catalog of cards. And then I'll show you what we're gonna do tonight. I have these cards and I cased a couple of projects this week. So um, let me make sure my volume's turned on on my iPad. So as we go along, I will let you know what I've cased, but I can tell you I cased this first card and this is um, a design from Karen Titus. And it's just a cute little pocket card and I have inside just a note and on the inside, thank you. So it's like a little card within a little card sleeve. So I thought that was really fun. We're gonna do this happy birthday card. We're gonna do a thinking of you card. And then um, this is something else I'll talk about in a little bit where I got the idea from this. This is just a little gift card holder or a little um, gratuity holder if you wanted to put money in here if you're giving somebody a tip. So we'll talk about that in a little while. Let me put these aside and we'll get started on our projects. Okay, so let me start by showing you what we're gonna be working with. This is the Puddle Park stamp set. This is really fun. Obviously, you can do any color pattern, any palette that you like, whatever your favorite colors are with this. And then this is the punch, so it cuts out the three flowered shapes and a leaf shape. So we'll be using that tonight too. And let's get out our pieces. Wait, I've got this in opposite order, hold on. Um, the other thing we're gonna be using is the go-to greetings. Um, because that Petal Park um, stamp set does not come with any words, no sentiments. And this is going into the new catalog as well. And I just think this, I mean, it's just got classic script fonts, some really cutesy fonts. Uh, so it's got three different types of fonts um, and really valuable things like happy birthdays and thank yous um, because who doesn't have enough of those cards to give to people, right? So the go-to greetings we'll be using. Um, Kind of one of my standbys is the stylus shapes dies, and I'm trying to get used to these circles because you know the other uh, layering circles dies are retiring, so they're going to be gone. So this is going to be kind of the new go-to set for circles for me. Okay, here's our pieces. So I've got this piece for stamping and for using the punch. And then we've got some layers here. So we're starting just with this piece. This is five and a half by four and a quarter Knight of Navy cardstock. And then we're going to take a piece of this Regency Park DSP. Now I have a new packet here that I just got this week and let me open it to show you. These papers are beautiful. And like I said, they're still available the last time I looked. Um, just really, really pretty. Um, so lots of different colors. You got blues and greens. So you have kind of the flower prints on one side. And then on the other side, you have coordinating um, patterns, which is great um, because they just match so well with all the different things um, match perfectly. So you have so many choices with this paper pack of different projects that you can do. Um, and then of course we're just using, um, it tells you what colors coordinate. So Balmy Blue, Mango Melody, which is leaving us, Night of Navy, Petal Pink, Shaded Spruce, Sweet Sorbet. So we're gonna use a couple of those um, colors tonight. Okay, so we have this piece of Regency Park DSP. This is um, five and a quarter by four. And we're gonna just put this right here. So we might as well start by doing that. And I'm just gonna use a little bit of seal. Whoops. I found the seal works best on a flat surface. If I have something under it, I have a hard time getting it going. So we're just gonna center this and that's kind of gonna be the back part of the card, kind of our card base. All right. Now we have the little card that's gonna go inside. And again, I'm using the Knight of Navy. And this Knight of Navy is eight and a half by three and a quarter, and it's scored at four and a quarter. So we just make this really fun little card. And then this is the dots from the Regency Park DSP, and this is four inches by three inches. So that's just gonna go right here. And we might as well put that one on too. All right. So we've got a couple pieces already. Now, we've also taken some Knight of Navy, and I'll just show you what we've got here. This is um, three and a quarter, yeah, three and a quarter by three and a quarter. And we're just gonna cut our triangle from that. So uh, you'll have a three and a quarter by three and a quarter of Knight of Navy. And then um, the same thing with, um, a th the, this is three by three 
okay? And you're just going to diagonal cut it on your cutter right across like that, and you're gonna end up with your triangles. Now this one I cut a little bit larger. I think I did three and a quarter by three and a quarter for this. So what I'm gonna do is just um, glue it down and um, tr I could trim it off right here or I could leave a little bit more of an edge. So I think I need, let me do a little bit more of an edge. Let me just get my trimmer out. I should have done it three by three and it would have been perfect, but I wanna take off just a little bit more than a quarter, I think and make sure it's straight. Okay. And that's gonna go right in there and I've got a nice blue border on all sides. Okay. So I think in the kits, the make and take kits, I've cut the squares, I believe. I can't remember if I cut squares or triangles for everybody's kits. All right. So that's gonna go there. And I'm gonna go ahead and glue this corner down now so it has a chance to dry while we're working on the rest of the project. And I'm just gonna go ahead and use my Tombow glue and get it started here. And just do the edge, just like that. And glue it right here. So, um, like I said, I cased this from Karen Titus, and she did this in a bunch of different patterns, um, made a whole bunch of different cards, and they looked really awesome. So we tried it in this pattern, and I like it with the Petal Park. All right, so we'll let that dry while we work on the rest of the card. Okay, so what we've got here now is I've got um, this little piece. We're gonna um, stamp color and cut the flowers and we're going to do a little background stamping on this piece right here our sentiment is going to go on this these are from the stylish shapes dies all right so let's start by getting some stamps out and we're going to stamp everything in night of navy so let's start with that and i'm going to do two sets of the flowers so i'm going to do the flower outlines and those look like this right here okay so I'm gonna do two sets. And the way my punch is, let's see if I can not mess this up. I want the bigger one to the right, and I'm gonna do one on each of the bottom ones so it will be punched out easily. So I'm gonna do one right here. Then I'm gonna flip it and stamp another one at the bottom so it'll be easy to punch out. Okay, so that's it for that. Let's do our sentiment, which is going to be just a note. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I did not cut out a piece for the inside. So I'm gonna have to do that. I don't see a white piece for that because we're gonna thank, uh, on the inside, we're gonna stamp the thank you. So I'm gonna have to cut that in just a minute. All right, so we've got that. All right, next, I'm also gonna use a little bit of balmy blue and we're gonna stamp a little bit of background on this square. So let me get a little piece to put behind it of the grid paper. And this one, I really like this too. It's kind of the leaves and some dots and things. Um, so I wanna say, let's see, which one did I use? It doesn't really matter. You can use whichever one you want. Um, I'm just gonna ink up like this much of it right here. And I'm using Balmy Blue. And I'm just gonna stamp it like here and then I'm gonna flip it over and stamp the other side. And keep in mind our flowers are gonna go, let me just wipe off the bottom a little bit because I only want that part to show. Make sure I don't have any other ink. And kind of do it like this. And then I'm gonna do the same thing in Night of Navy for another layer. one this way and then flip it and we've got a nice fun little backdrop now the other thing I want to do and we're gonna have our flowers in the middle so that's not gonna matter there's also some dots so I'm gonna do some dots and I'm gonna start with the lighter again first and just do a few of the dots just to kind of fill in the background um, where I think a couple of dots should go and a couple more in the Night of Navy. 
And a lot of it's gonna be covered up anyway with the flowers, but I'm just kind of adding a little bit here. Put a little bit right here. And I think that's good enough for that piece. Okay, let me cut a piece of paper. Let me just see how much this um, basic white is. Let's measure this really quickly. And that is three inches by four inches, nice and easy. Let me get a piece of white and we'll put that out really quick. I have a scrap handy. So here's four inches by three inches. Okay. And I just wanna stamp the thank you right about there. haven't had to clean any stamps yet. Have you noticed I avoid cleaning stamps? Not my favorite thing to do. Okay. That is it for stamping. Okay, now I want to color the inside of these flowers. And so I'm going to use my Balmy Blue Blends. And uh, let's see. I think I'll start with a little bit of the dark Balmy Blue. And just kind of do more of the inside a little bit and maybe some of the middle just kind of messy and then I'll take the light and I'm still going to leave some white I'm not going to fully color them I kind of like the look of having a little bit of the white showing still in the flowers so that's kind of all I'm going to do like that and fill in a little bit more I hear a lot of barking downstairs I don't know what's going on it must be people walking on the sidewalks in front of our house. How dare they? Doggies don't like that. I like these flowers. I think they're nice and easy and pretty and they match. I love when everything matches, right? So it coordinates with the DSP perfectly. And it's nice when you have, I mean, I like die cutting too, but it's nice to have a punch because it's just quick, quick and easy. I don't have to get up and go over across the room to where I have my die cutting machine. All right. Hey, Kelly, how are you? Okay, so I'm just going to line this up and punch it out. And do the same on the other side. And then I think we can start assembling our card. All right. Okay. All right, so let's do the outside first. I'm just gonna put this down with some seal. And I think I'll put it just like this. And I'm gonna do my just a note underneath. Last week when we were doing cards, I had um, die cut some little birds to go on the Seaside Bay one. And I lost one. Well, I still never found it. I don't know what happened to that bird. It never showed up, which is really, really weird. Okay. Let's start putting our flowers on and we're gonna pop these up. So I've got one of each that's gonna get popped up. Oh, Lois says she likes the new daisy set. Yeah, I've seen a couple of cards on the demonstrator planning place that people made with that set so far. It's, it's, it's good. I have not gotten that set yet. There's some really cute, you guys, in this new catalog, there's some really, really cute stuff. I can't wait to use some of this stuff. It's going to be just awesome. I'm going to kind of place this a little bit to cover up some of my things that don't look so good on my background. Okay, there's that. Let's put the inside in. This 
like that. And then I want it to close flat, so I'm just going to um, use uh, some adhesive on the back, or you could use a little bit of glue to adhere these flowers down. So I'm just gonna randomly put a couple flowers here. I don't like that. Okay, at the bottom. So we have the, the card that goes inside. Okay, so now we've got this. And if it bothers you, because you can kind of see where it's, um, you can't really see the just a note, but I like it because I, I feel like, oh, it lets people know, oh yeah, this comes out of here. You have to look at it, you have to take it out to read it. If you don't like that, you could always put the label this way that says just a note and tuck it behind, right? So you could read the whole thing. Um, however you like to do it. Okay, so this is just one of those circles from that same set that I'm just gonna put here. And then take one more dimensional and pop up our second uh, big flower. And then I went with um, just the basic rhinestone jewels. Sometimes, I know I feel a little bit boring, but they're just so classic and pretty and I just they just look good on everything. So that's what I went with this time. Um, so I'm just gonna add some of these little uh, rhinestones, clear rhinestones, right like that. All right, that is our first card. I hope y'all like it. I think it's kind of fun, something different, and thank you to Karen for her idea. I appreciate it. Lots of fun. Okay, that's card number one. Okay, let's go on to the card number two. Now, if you would like to get um, the project kit for this. Um, all you have to do is place an order of $35 or more by Saturday the 22nd to make to get the make and take kit for free. Um, you just have to use this host code for un or all orders under $150. If your order is $150 or more, um, you earn Stampin' Rewards. Um, so don't use the host code and I will still send you the project kit. All right, so I, I include all, all the paper, ribbon, embellishments. I do not stamp or die cut. The things that I die cut are the things that are not included, right, um, in the pedal park. So the circles, um, these all these things I already die cut, okay? So that's what you would get with the kit if you order. Tomorrow, again, is a great day to order. Let's do this card next. What I've added to this card is um, the scalloped contours dies, and I'm just gonna use this border. You can see how um, I did the die cutting with that. Um, and then the um, stylus shapes, we have the circles and the little banner cut from. Okay, so we went outside the blue this time, and we're using um, essentially sweet sorbet for this card. Okay, so this is nice and easy. We're gonna start with our basic card base layer. So this is eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter. All right, and that is Sweet Sorbet. We're gonna have our inner piece, which is um, the white at five and a quarter by four, which is just gonna go in here. And then I have just a little extra piece of DSP we're gonna put at the bottom, okay? All right, um, this is for our, we're gonna do some more flowers with stamping. This is more of that DSP that we had. And so I used one piece, this, this DSP comes six by six, right? So I used one piece to cut everything, all right? So I cut this at five and a quarter. So I cut it at five and a quarter by four, five and a quarter by three. And then for this other thing, I'm gonna use on the inside five and a quarter by one. So we used all the pieces of our six by six, right? Five and a quarter this way, and then we cut it that way. And then I took that die and just cut right along the bottom, that scalloped edge. And then this is the side we're gonna use as the accent, right? Um, which coordinates perfectly with the paper. They planned it that way, which is good. Then I took another piece of sweet sorbet. This is also five and a quarter by, I don't know, maybe an inch and a half. Yeah, it's an inch and a half. And um, we're just gonna do a layer like that underneath just to give it a little more prettiness, right? Okay, so let's start by putting these um, layers together. And it's pretty easy, but I wanted to put the layers together before I put it on the card. No, that's not right. That's just silly what I just did, but that's okay. I'm gonna do it this way then along the bottom and we wanna line up um, this other piece. But what I'm saying is I wanted to put these layers together so I could tie the ribbon around first because I didn't want the ribbon to go on the inside of my card. 
okay so I think this looks good right about here of course it's going to be a little more complicated now that I've got glue on the back prematurely okay now I want to line this up so it's going to be the right size right so I want to line it up to be about like uh, so I have a nice edge kind of like right about here all right so let me get some down here and let me use my grid to make sure that I'm getting this right. So I think right about like that, okay? All right, now if I look at it, does it go on here pretty good? It's a little bit wide, I can go, I'm gonna pull it apart and bring it down just a little bit. So I'm gonna try that again. I want this right about here, and I want this right about here, maybe. Okay. I think that's better. Okay. I like the way that looks. That looks pretty even all around, I think. All right, so now I'm going to take some ribbon. Now, this is brand new ribbon out of the new catalog, and this is the Ribbon Duo Combo Pack, okay? And it has the Puddle Pink, and then this is one of the new colors. This is Lemon Lime Twist, and this is a really pretty ribbon, too. Um, really, really pretty. You can see it's kind of got the rows of stitching on it, and it's just nice, thin, um, feels good kind of ribbon to use. Uh, we won't use that tonight, but out of the pack, we are going to use this petal pink ribbon. And it's also kind of a ribbed ribbon. I think it's it's just silky and pretty. I just love it. So we're just going to wrap around this layer and tie a bow. Make sure I have enough to tie a bow with. I ordered some new ribbon cutting scissors from Amazon because... I feel like my other scissors for a ribbon, cutting ribbon are getting a little dull, and I think it probably came, but I haven't had a time to open up any Amazon packages. So I'm hoping it's here. I had one of my Stampin' Up! scissors just for ribbon, but if you sometimes cheat and forget, then you end up ruining the scissors. So, And I'm sure you could sharpen them, but I just thought I'm just gonna buy some ribbon cutting scissors and I will only use them for ribbon now. Okay, there's our bow. So let me just trim the edges. Oh, don't you love this ribbon? I'm in love with this ribbon. And truly, I haven't used Petal Pink that much before, but it's pretty good. And let me just make sure it's moved over enough this way. And then we'll go ahead and put it down on our card. It doesn't look that pretty from the back. I think it'll look pretty from the front. Whoops. Okay, there we go. Now, if this, because my ribbon's just a little bit loose, if you don't like that flapping around, you could put a little glue dot right underneath here, but we're also gonna put something over it, so I'm not that worried. Okay, so we've cut out circles of vellum. So that's going to be a layer right there. And then the white that we're going to stamp the same background on. And we're also going to use this to stamp some flowers. And then we have our sentiment. So let's start stamping that. I need to clean my stamps because they're all blue at this point. So let me get out my chamois and clean a couple things. do this one again too. All that blue. Okay. All right, let's start with the circle and do the backdrop part again. And I'm just going to do it in sweet sorbet, just one color this time um, for like the flower part. So I'm going to use this smaller side again. And I'm going to put it in two different areas. I am going to take some petal pink and um, do some dots in between. So I 
me just like that for the background. Looks like we'll have some opportunities to cover up for flowers. Okay, so petal pink dots. And let me clean that stamp. Okay. Make sure that's okay. All right. I just kind of want them around the edges. anything's going to show and it's subtle it's light so you may not even see it okay flowers oops wrong color need sweet sorbet So this one, we're just going to take some petal pink blends and color in those flowers. And we're only doing one set this time. Nice and quick, nice and fast coloring on these flowers. So you could do a whole bunch of these cards really quickly if you wanted to. And we'll add a little bit of the light. My petal pink blends were pretty much trashed. And I was at a team meeting last night and I won another set of, um, well, my, my upline from a contest from our other team meeting gave me these blends. So I'm super excited to use them. New blends, yay. They're not all smashed up like the other ones. I used the heck out of the other ones. Okay, cutting out the flowers. All right, one last thing is we need to stamp our sentiment and we're gonna do that in the sweet sorbet. And we'll do thinking of you in that other cutesy little font on this little banner from the stylish shapes. All right, so we're gonna attach this to the vellum Right in the middle. Hold on, is that backwards? Yes. Don't want it backwards, although I'm sure it would still look fine. All right, let's pop up these flowers and strategically place them again because I'm not stamping very well. Interesting. I've got glue and ink all over my fingers again already, too. I'm going to have to. All right, let's see. I'd like to cover this area up first. And then we'll just put one kind of over here and one overlapping there. And I think that looks fine. Give me a second to get some of this stuff off my fingers. Okay. All righty, let's pop up the whole thing. I'm going to kind of put some above and below the ribbon, which isn't really going to help hold the ribbon in place too much, but we'll see how it goes after we put it on. Let's see if that still worked out okay. And we'll put that right, I think, right about there. I think that's pretty good. I'm just going to throw a little glue dot under there just for the heck of it to kind of hold the ribbon in place. I'm just gonna pull it off of here and just toss it right underneath like that. Now it's gonna stay and not move anywhere. Okay, um, lastly, let's pop up our sentiment and then we can put the inside together and maybe put some rhinestones on. These cards come together pretty quickly and easily, don't they? All right, just like that. Let's do the inside and this just is going to go across that way. Fiesta starts here on 
Thursday in two days. So I know there's a lot of people in San Antonio pretty excited about Fiesta starting. We still haven't decided if we're going to go to any events yet or not. All right, you guys, there we go. Car oh, wait, rhinestones, of course. Let's not forget the bling. All right, now we're finished. All right, what do you think? Do you guys like this card? I think this this one's pretty. I can't tell if this one's my favorite or the first one's my favorite. I'm not sure. Okay. All right, let's go on to the next card. This is a happy birthday card, and I'm just using a little bit different of the DSP. Um... So let me pull out the pieces for this one. Using the Sweet Sorbet for the card base again, same measurements, eight and a half, five and a half, score to four and a quarter, five and a quarter by four for the inside of this card. Um, I've got a piece for um, doing a little bit of stamping and punching. Um, this DSP that goes in the middle is also five and a quarter by four. That's just gonna go right on here. And I guess we can just start layering right now. I was drawn to this um, pattern. I thought it was really pretty. I like the colors in it. I like the flowers. I just thought it was just really pretty. Just by itself, right? All right. Then I've got some more layers. I did Balmy Blue with the scalloped um, die from the scalloped shapes dies. And then I wanted to put a little bit of Knight of Navy behind it just to make it kind of stand out more and give it like another layer and a little bit more color. So this Knight of Navy is four and five eighths by three and a quarter. Kind of weird measurements, but it left a nice border around um, the scalloped uh, layer. So let's put that one down. All right, then we are going to, um, let's just wait. Let's go on to the next, excuse me. Let's start doing our stamping, okay? So I've got another layer of white. This is gonna go inside the scallop, right like this. And we're gonna do a little bit of stamping on that. Okay, all right. And so um, this is basic white and this um, is three and three quarters by two and five eighths, all right? So. Back to the blues. I need balmy blue and and I'm using basically the same dies again. Um, let's see, I don't need to clean that one. I do need to clean this one and the dots. Okay, basically the same idea as before, and I'm just using the same ones. I Now there's another set of like leaf dies that come with this one, um, but I didn't like that one as much because I thought, well, I'm gonna use it just to be different. Um, and I'll show you in a second. I'm gonna get some Knight of Navy layers too on this. Um, let's see what I got here. See, this is the other one. It's more of a solid. So I, I played with that first and I played with that with some dots. I thought about using these on the inside because they kind of match the other ones on the outside, but ultimately I went with this again. I keep catching that other little piece in there, which I need to not do that. Yeah, I like the one that has just a little bit more detail to it. Okay. Got myself good with the ink that time. I have a completely purple finger now. Oh, two, two purple fingers. Okay, so uh, as long as I've got the Knight of Navy out, I want to stamp the sentiment, which is going to be happy birthday. Get this out of the way. So what I did with this one is I just had a piece of um, 
the petal pink and I cut it um, across. This time I thought I like the dotting, so I used, um, I cut the petal pink out of that same uh, die set that we're using. So I just cut a banner this way and I wanna try that and see if I like that better. So I'm gonna do the happy birthday on that banner. And Night of Navy. I think this is a really good happy birthday font. I can see using this for years on all kinds of projects. All right, so we've got that. Let's do a set of flowers with the sweet sorbet. And I'm gonna do the outline first. I'm actually gonna do it this way. So I'm gonna do the outline. Then there's another stamp too, that if you don't like to color or you don't have blends, you can use the inside. But we're gonna stamp this off before we use it on the inside. So I'm gonna ink that up. I'm gonna stamp it off. And then I'm gonna line it up and color the inside of our flowers that way. Let me see if I can get this lined up pretty well. So another way to color your flowers, and that shows a little bit of the white too. So again, I think that looks really pretty. Hold on one second, I need a drink. Okay, so let us punch those. Just another way to use that set. Okay, we have flowers. Okay, so let us start layering. So let's go back to this layer. We've got this layer. We're gonna put this one on, on here. Okay, so let me just put it on with just seal again. Just like this. A little bit of the border at the top and the bottom. All right, then I have another piece of sweet sorbet, and this is three and a half inches by one and a quarter, and I'm just gonna put that on the diagonal. And you know what, I should have put it on before I adhered this so I could have cut a nice straight line, right? I didn't think of that. Let's see if we can still make it work. Not so happy about that. Let me get a bigger pair of scissors and see if I can do this without making it look really terrible. I don't know if I can. Hmm. All right, I'm tearing the whole thing off. And I, I, I used extra adhesive too on this one, so that's good. <laughs> but if I do it slowly, I'll be able to get it off. I don't want to ruin the card at this point. Got to remember to do things in the right order. All right, now I can cut it. Okay, there we go, and I think it'll still stick nicely. There's a lot of adhesive left on that. So let's put that back where it belongs. Okay, and then I'm thinking now that I have this too, I think I'm gonna pop this up this time too, and I'm gonna leave it. I'm not gonna cut it. I'm just gonna leave the banner like it is. So let me just pop that up. I think that's gonna look better. I think I like it better than just the plain. It's funny when you create cards and you start going and trying different things and you like it, you don't like it, you tear it apart, you do more stuff. I guess I wasn't done designing this card, right? Because I still had more ideas. All right, let's pop this whole thing up. I feel like I've been using a lot of blue lately. Um, and blue's not... I mean, I like blue but I feel like I don't normally use a ton of blue. I'm kind of a pink girl. All right, like that. Let's pop these flowers up. Anybody have anything exciting going on this week?
All right, so let's put that there. A couple like that. All right, let's do the inside, which is very, very simple. Just a little piece of the DSP. Now, if you wanted to do more flowers, you could put flowers on the inside of this too, and that would look really nice. I did not do that. But I'm just keeping it simple. The other thing you can do is take a little bit of this DSP and decorate the envelope flap. Um, to match your card, which is always a nice thing to do. I guess I could have done that too. Um, at the time I was making all this and starting to cut kits, I didn't have enough DSP, but like I said, I got two more packages this week, so now I have plenty to play with. Okay, let's add some um, rhinestones. And, okay. That's it. What do you guys think? It looks better with the stitch banner, don't you think? I think so. All right. That was card number three. Okay. All right. So you guys, um, here's my other case project for this week. So I was watching. So my upline is Deborah Harrison and she is with Simply Sweet and Ink Designs. And she did a video last week that was so good because she's going to be taking a trip soon. And she was talking about gratuity envelopes. So we have this die that does these. And um, let me show you her project that she showed everybody. And she made this little gratuity envelope, which is really pretty. And um, I, I just really loved it. I thought it was a great idea because even if you're not going on a trip, like if you're just going to a restaurant, the car wash, a lot of times you tip people. And I just thought, oh, that's so extra to put your... Um, your tip money into a cute little thing. It's just like, just a nice gesture. So she was making a bunch of those for her trip. We're planning a trip this summer too. So um, I want to make a whole bunch of these because I just think it's a nice thing to do. So these are super easy. So I um, use the same um, paper and stuff that we've been using to make this. Uh, and I just fold the flap underneath the vellum a little bit to hold it shut like that. Okay, so super easy project, easy to make a bunch of these. So this is the die set that I used for that. Okay, and this is mini pocket envelope dies. Now this is not carrying over into the new catalog, but it's going to be, what they're doing this year is some of the products are gonna be online exclusives after this. So this is one of the products that's gonna be an online exclusive. So you'll still be able to get it, just it's not in the annual catalog. Okay, so um, I use this die right here from the set. And super easy, you just put it, cut it out, and your, your envelope is like done and ready to go. So here are the pieces for this. Okay, so used um, that same die set to make some circles and a label. Here is what this looks like after you cut it out with the die. And then this is just the extra paper from it that I'm including in the kits because you're gonna want some flowers to go um, in the middle right here. And these are just cut from the paper, okay? Super easy to assemble. The, the um, score line's are already done for you with the die. So you're folding it this way, and then it's got a couple um, flaps to fold this way and this way. Okay, and so I'm just going to add a little bit of glue here. Whoa, yikers. I need to close that up a little. I think it's open too wide. And just fold that over. And I'm just going to hold it up to seal it for a minute. And clean up my extra glue mess that I just made. Okay, and we'll let that dry for a minute. And then you have the other side of the paper right here. So um, easy, right? You have this little pocket, it's awesome. You can put the gratuity in there or it fits a gift card too. So I have a little gift card here. If you put the gift card in, you can't really close the envelope top, but do you need to? Probably not. Okay, so nice and easy. Okay. So, I, uh, super easy to assemble because I just cut these out of the white and the vellum to put right there. All right, so um, let me get some seal right here and put it right in the middle like that. I'm gonna pop this up so we make a little place. Uh, I'm gonna fold this over so it's gonna go like that, okay? Let me get some dimensionals and pop it up a little bit. 
So we can tuck that flap under to close it up. And you don't have to close it up. I just like it closed. Hopefully the people won't be like, oh, you're giving me a card instead of a tip. Um, no, we're not doing that. All right, so I'm gonna put it right about here. Okay, let's stamp our sentiments. I'm gonna do a thank you. Oh, you know what I didn't do, you guys? <clears throat> I didn't do a background. And all I did for the background on this one was just some dots, so I can still stamp it like that. So let me just get out a little bit of balmy blue and we'll just do some dots. They might be a little uneven, but they shouldn't be too bad. All right, let me get some of the Night of Navy. Now, you don't have to get crazy and do all this kind of stamping and stuff. You could do a really simple one too, especially if you're gonna make a bunch of them. But that'd be a nice thing to carry in your purse to give a little tip at the restaurant. Um, like I said, or when you go to the car wash or you know, whatever, whatever other things that you tip for. All right, so we have some dots. And we're going to do our thank you right here. And I'm going to pop that up as well. I'm running out of dimensionals. I'm extra messy tonight. Right like that. Okay. Now, the flowers. I gave you this extra piece. But this designer series paper, you can see, you can cut out the flowers. Okay. If I got a little bit closer. Let me cut this off a little bit. Where's my scissors? I'm going to cut this off a little bit so you can see. You can just put your designer series paper in here. And look at it, it cuts these flowers out perfectly, just like that, okay? So, okay, when I made this card, I'll be honest, I fussy cut all these flowers because I didn't realize that at first. So I did that. Um, I also fussy cut some of the little leaves, which are, I mean, let's, let's be honest, those are super easy to fussy cut, right? The little leaves, because it's just basically two cuts for each leaf. All right, so I've got some of those too. So we'll just start gluing this onto our card. I'm going to start with some leaves up at the top, right there. Another one right here. And one more. If you guys have never seen Deborah's work before, oh my gosh, she is so talented. Um, I was at a team meeting last night and she showed me um, a set of cards that she made. Hold on, I wanna get myself a little more cleaned off here before I ruin something. A set of cards that she made with products from the new catalog. And oh my gosh, those cards were just adorable. I mean, absolutely adorable. So cute. All right, dimensionals. So you can check her out. It's Simply Sweet and in Ink Designs. I love pretty much everything she makes. She's really talented. Okay, that's it. Super easy, right? If you want to add rhinestones or just leave it plain, that's it. So I took another set um, and I made this one with just another one of the designer series papers, right? And I didn't get crazy this time. All I did was cut a circle out of the designer series paper for the middle and the edge so you could do it really fast without any of the stamping and fussy cutting and anything like that. Um, I just used the dies to cut it out like that. So that one's even easier to use. All right. So that went by pretty fast, it seemed like. Maybe not. I guess it's been almost an hour. All right. So we have these cards that we did tonight, the little uh, pocket cards. We did this happy birthday card. We did thinking of you. I think it's a nice set of cards um, for people to give away. We did these little gratuity envelopes. Um, so that's it for tonight. Um, so I have a couple quick things to go over with you. 
um, when I was talking about the online exclusives, Lisa Cunningham made this for us to use. So these are some of the things that are um, going to be online exclusive. So they're not retiring, but they're not going to be in the new catalog, like the Queen Bee, the Nested Friends, the designer tag dies. I like those tag dies a lot. Um, the white glittered organdy ribbon. I was freaking out when I first saw the catalog because I use that ribbon all the time. And I absolutely love, I mean, I feel like um, I need white ribbon, right, in my life. And I didn't see a good white ribbon. So I'm glad that's still going to be available. I'm probably going to stock up on that. Um, Lois, thank you very much. If you want the project and measurement and supply sheet for this week, um, just drop me an email and I'll be happy to send you this so you can see all the measurements for the cards we made. Reminder, paper pumpkin goes until, um, oh, wait, that's the wrong one. Never mind. There's a new paper pumpkin. I don't have a picture of that right now. Um, if you place an order of $35 or more, I will also send you for free the Sweet Stampin' Friends tutorial for April. It's 10 different um, demonstrators. This is the card that I designed for the month. Um, so you will receive this um, uh, electronically if you order with me. Okay? I don't really have um, what I'm doing for next week yet. I'm not sure what it's going to be. Um, but I will think of something before next week. Um, I'm already starting with some of the new products to um, do a class, which is going to be fun. So I will have more to share with you next week. But thank you all for watching. I appreciate it so much. And enjoy the rest of your week, everybody. Thanks for watching. All right. Bye-bye.